Well, Glenda, a massive plume of dust from the Sahara Desert is making its way right here to the U.S. On Tuesday, the Saharan dust reached the Caribbean, turning skies milky brown and leading to air quality warnings. Strong, warm winds are carrying the dust thousands of miles across the Atlantic Ocean. This year's dust is the most dense it's been in over half a century. Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth is back to tell us if that dust will affect Michigan at all. Dave. Uh, you know, it's probably not going to do much. We'll show you some of the positive and negative impacts. I think the negative impacts certainly aren't our issue, but maybe we get a little something positive out of this. Uh, this is very, very typical. It's just that this one is very intense. There's an area in South Florida called the Redlands. It's the soil from the Sahara Desert landing in Florida over centuries, making that soil red. The Caribbean's got some red soil. So what happens is these big thunderstorms, huge thunderstorm complexes in the Western Sahara kick up the dust. They're usually drier thunderstorms than we get, so there's not a lot of water, of course, in the desert. And then typically there's an upper level wind that kind of tears this apart and disperses it but so it doesn't let it get together. But this time those winds were absent at first. So these huge amounts of dust gathered and now those winds are bringing them across the Atlantic. You can see the flow here into the Caribbean and then they're gonna to try to work their way toward us. So this is a forecast, uh, NASA, a lot of uh, scientists actually track this all the time, uh, working their way into the Caribbean. And then by tomorrow afternoon, kind of coming on shore in the Gulf Coast, working its way in the Southeast uh, US, and then if you watch, there's another surge kind of up the middle of the country toward Kansas City, toward St. Louis. This is over the weekend. This is 3 o'clock on Saturday. And as it tries to get closer to us, it more or less gets blocked. So I don't think this is going to be a big deal for us. Negative impacts, poor air quality, breathing quality when it's really thick, like in the Caribbean. Uh, positive impacts, more colorful sunrises and sunsets. We might get a hint brighter with that. It also tends to suppress hurricane activity while it's out in the Atlantic, and obviously that's a good thing in terms of uh, property damage, all that kind of stuff. So probably a very little impact, but watch Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, and Sunday night as well for maybe a little brighter color in the sky. It's